Hi everyone, it's Mari. Welcome back to my channel. I have a project today for the My Creative Scrapbook Kit Club and I'm going to be working with the July main kit here today. I'm starting off with a piece of basil marshmallow cardstock and I've applied some gesso to that cardstock ahead of time and allowed that to dry. And now I'm going to go in with some Vicky Booten art crayons and I'm just going to do a little bit of mixed media on my cardstock before I create the rest of my layout. So I'm just taking a little bit of acetate, just some plastic. I'm picking up that watered down art crayon that you can see on the right side of my desk. I'm just applying that onto the, um, onto the paper with that acetate. And once I have that applied across the layout the way that I want it, I also am going to do some splattering and I'm just using a couple of different sizes of the Vicky Booten uh, brushes to create some splatters across that panel, kind of in the center of the layout horizontally. And those splatters are just going to add a really neat effect on the background and create just like a really subtle pattern. And I really like how this looks when it's all finished. So I'm just going to show you here. I'm going ahead and adding a little bit more color across the rest of the layout there with that same acetate. Every once in a while, I give it a little spritz of water just to get the the uh, pigment moving on my paper. And, and then, of course, doing the splattering on top of that. And this did warp my paper a little bit, but all I did was I took and I put it through my laminator and my laminator completely flattened the paper out, which is perfect. And of course, this will flatten out in the page protector in my album as well. So I'm not too worried about that. Now I'm also going to add a little bit of pink because the papers and embellishments I'm using from the Simple Stories Summer Farmhouse collection from the kit are all going to be pink and yellow. And these are just going to be perfect for documenting the memory that I'm going to be working on here today. So now that I've got those splatters on there in the pink, I'm going to go in with some Gina K Glitz Glitter Gel and this is the iridescent. I didn't want my um, stenciling to be too um, dominant. I just wanted a, to have add a little bit of a pop and this product is perfect for that. So I'm just going to run this through this Vicky Booten stencil. This is just going to add a little bit of texture for my photos to sit on and I really love how this looks when it's all done. Now I did let this dry before I did the other side. So the other dry now, other side now is completely dry, which allows me to set the stencil on top of that, which is already done. And I'm just gonna add more to this other side. And I'm just using my Nouveau spatula here to apply that. Now this is one of the papers from the kit. It's so sweet. It's a pink background and then it has lemons on it. It's adorable. And what I did was I took part of that paper and I tore it into four 12 inch thin strips. And my idea is just to layer those strips, um, one at the top and then the other subsequent ones just underneath and then just create a really fun pink and yellow mat in that way, layering those torn edged papers um, one under the other. And I just, I really like this look. I think it just looks fun, a little bit distressed, a little bit textured. And I'm going to add one more layer underneath those three that I have there in yellow, and that'll finish that off. Now I wanted to take some basil tutu pink patterned paper, and I wanted to mat all three of my square photos that I'm going to be um, documenting with here today. I wanted to mat my three photos on that pink paper. So I'm just going to pop each of my three black and white photos up with some foam adhesive here, and I'm going to stick that down to my basil cardstock and so here you can just see I'm taking the release paper off the back and I'm going to add these onto my pink cardstock and I just love how this looks it's so clean I love that the black and white photo and this really light pink I think it's super pretty and I have added um, you know I definitely have done some work in Lightroom with these photos to adjust them and um, the photos originally were in yellow and the little girl is in a tube slide that's yellow so I really had a struggle printing them in color because of that and so it was just easier to print them in black and white so here you can see I've just kind of got them the photo three photos scattered across the that horizontal map that I created and now I'm just going to start embellishing with all of the amazing embellishments in this kit if you did not watch my unboxing of the July main kit make sure you click the link in the description box below to that video where I unbox this kit and if you have never taken a look at the my creative scrapbook kit club kits they are amazing they're full of so much stuff like 
you will not believe what you get in your kit. It is a full of a ton of things. And I really love working within a collection. And that's another really great thing about these kits is they typically have like they, they have one collection included so that you're not, you know, struggling with mixing and matching things. So I love that. And here you can see the 12 by 12 sticker sheet that comes in the kit. And I'm just using that to embellish with. And the word slide, I just cut that out with some dies that I had in my stash to complete my title, which says Happy Sunshine Slide. And I'm just using some of those free stickers from the sticker sheet to add to a side each photo on the side of each one of the photos has a little phrase sticker one says a bit of sunshine one says every summer has a story and the other one says simply summer I think or something like that they're so sweet I love those I love those 12 by 12 simple story sticker sheets they're one of my favorite things about the simple stories collection so you can see I've used one of the puffy foam free stickers happy and one of the die cut uh, pieces sunshine I'm using chipboard I'm using ephemera there is so much stuff in this kit and I really had a blast creating this layout using my July main kit from my creative scrapbook please make sure you check out the links down below to the my creative scrapbook kit club you can find out all of the details there and I had so much fun making this with this sweet girl these photos of her on her slide and the you know beginning middle and end of her slide and she had a blast just like I did making this layout guys have a wonderful day stay safe um, hope you're well and I'll see you again here soon on my channel bye bye Thank you.